I would like to demonstrate how to work with bond appetite for socket preservation technique when you don't reflect the flap. Press the shaft against the palm of your hand until the first piston reaches the blue line. Now the material is already activated. Remove the syringe head, approach to the socket side and eject the material into the socket. Slightly overfill it and now you take a dry gauze and press firmly the material into the socket. Now, if there is not enough place for your finger between the teeth, use a spatula or an elevator peristal and press above the dry gauze. Now, you cannot leave the material exposed. What you need to do is to take a barrier, which can be a simple collagen sponge, and place it above the graft. However, it must be sutured together with the soft tissue. So the technique is in that way. All the collagen sponge in your hand. Insert the needle from the buccal aspect. Insert it to the bottom of the collagen sponge. And from up to down. Insert the needle into the lingual aspect. And place the sponge above the grafted site and make your first suture to stabilize the collagen sponge in place. Now remember that the collagen sponge must be stabilized together with the soft tissue by its first knot. After stabilizing the collagen sponge in place, or the membrane in place, you continue with a crisscross suturing in order to protect it in a better way. Now the graft is protected and you can leave it exposed in that way. Soft tissue will migrate above the graft and will close the area. That's all.